Here is a um, replacement Nintendo. It's not my childhood Nintendo. Little, little upset with that. And I thought I was going to have to replace the 72-pin connector. But it turns out that it was just dirty. Um, corrosion can be an issue, but mostly it's just dirt and grime getting in there from you know, blowing on cartridges, which you shouldn't do, shoving them in there, transferring the dirt and grime, and eventually the 72-pin connector won't read or won't be able to make contact with the cartridge and have it work. So I'm going to show you what you can do to potentially fix it and save yourself 10 bucks. The process is very straightforward, pretty simple. The first thing I'm going to recommend is make sure the contacts on the cartridges are cartridges are clean. I like 70% rubbing alcohol. I keep it in a little bottle and Q-tips. You want to make sure that they're cotton swabs with a cardboard, you know, whatever. They're made of cardboard. And you can put some rubbing alcohol on the Q-tip and rub the contacts. And I've gone and removed the uh, screws for this just to give a better view. And there's some wear on the contacts, but they are clean. And I was able to just do that, running the Q-tip back and forth. And these actually look a little dirty, so maybe they could be cleaner. So just squeeze some out onto there. Go over and just give them a, yeah, I mean, look, picking up some black grime. And you want to use the rubbing alcohol instead of blowing on the contacts or whatever. Your saliva is acidic and that is going to cause um, corrosion and other problems with the, I mean, oh, I cleaned this probably two or three times with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and I'm still getting just, it's just disgusting what I'm getting off. So do it several times on the cartridges until it stops being disgustingly black. And this is what is preventing the cartridge from making contact with the 72 pin connector. So got that and screw those in later. And I just like to point out that childhood Nintendo did not do that. Not super happy with my replacement. So we're gonna to need to disassemble the case and there are six screws. I've already removed, you know, all six. They're very easy to see, they're right there. Take those out. Uh, it's just a number one Phillips screwdriver should be able to do that or a Japanese industrial standard screwdriver and top comes right off quite easily. And then I think there are, there's seven more screws that keeps the RF shield um, held down. So one, two, three, four, five, and I think six, seven, somewhere back there. They're easily visible. We can remove the RF shield. And here's the uh, game tray. And here is the 72 pin connector. So just like the contacts on the game cartridge, you know, the connector is going to get dirty and the pins in there are going to be need to be cleaned. If you can clean them, you don't have to replace the connector. The connector is 10 bucks. Rubbing alcohol and Q-tips should be cheaper. So what I did to clean it was I took the Q-tip and this is why you want one that's made of cardboard and some scissors and cut it at an angle. And get a nice, nice point. And then, you know, take some rubbing alcohol and get some on the end. And because you have access to the connector, you can just stick the pointy end of the Q-tip in there and just go back and forth, back and forth, slowly cleaning everything. And you can already see getting some black crud on the end of um, the Q-tip and just go through and clean them all and get lots of the gunk off. 
You know, it's made up of who knows what. And then after that, uh, give it a test and it should work. I would suggest using um, a couple of them and then being careful. Uh, this will fray and start to break up. So don't leave any, any chunks of um, cardboard in the 72 pin connector and then it should work. It worked really well for me. And then you just have to reverse the process, um, put it all back together. If for whatever reason you do need to change the 72 pin connector, there's just one, two, three, four, five, six screws. It'll come up and you should be able to remove the board, pull the connector off and put a new one on. But I don't think that you should need to. Normally they're, they're just dirty. So clean the connector, clean the cartridge, and you should save uh, $10. So I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.